Hello! Check out Chirk Aqueduct with the railway is on that side and we've just come for a quick walk, we've just been along that way to Chirk Bank and we're just on the way back so we're going to walk over the aqueduct now and then, sorry there was a bee, bee flying up there and then I'll see if there's any boats coming um, maybe if there's a bench through we might sit see if anybody comes through the tunnel which is on the other side of the aqueduct great view from here as well if you've never been across here I su suggest you do because it's just a fabulous view both sides actually this side you've got a bit of a stream down here that yeah you can just about see it and then it opens up to the right also, to the left is just fabulous as well, through the arches. Here we are on the other side of the bridge. So we've got a small waiting area here and then Chirk Tunnel, which you can't read, but it says it's 421 metres long. So we're not going to go though through there today, but we may have a little seat on the bench. It's a really nice place to just come and sit and watch boats coming and going but there's not much movement today. We've had about two boats pass us in the last hour so very quiet day. Check this out. My neighbour has gone and there was a space the other side as well so I've got a very large gap with which to admire the view which is quite refreshing. A little disconcerting though because um, people can obviously see my windows now because I still don't have any blinds or anything on these two so it's a little bit weird but as it's so light in the evenings you know it's not like it's really dark outside and everyone can see it and so yeah really nice we had quite the drama here yesterday um, I've got a family of magpies that sit in the tree just outside and they're always kind of chittering and chattering and the baby's always like calling for food. They're so quiet this morning, um, which I suspect had something to do with what happened last night. So my mum was here and we were sitting chatting and I just heard this really bizarre kind of ah! noise that didn't sound right at all. So I went outside and one of the magpies was in the canal. He was drowning. Um, I just kind of rushed out, grabbed him um pulled him out and then sort of put him down and he sort of hopped off quite fast um fluffed himself up um and then kind of just hopped into the bushes and didn't fly up for, for ages didn't see him fly up um and the one in the tree i don't know which was which baby or parent but the one in the tree just kept cawing and making loads of noise um calling to the one on the floor so uh, but i have seen them this morning they're out there um two at least i think there's three of them all together um, but they're making not a sound, so I hope they're okay and I'll keep an eye out. Um, but they're so sweet. It's lovely to have a little family, family of birds coming. Well, about half past five every night they're out there calling um, as if to call to me. It's really funny. <laughs> and I always go out and say hi. Look, everybody, I've got a visitor. Hey, Puss Puss. Get word. <laughs> oh, you're beautiful. Are you gonna come for a fuss or are you just gonna roll around on my deck? He's just gonna roll around on my deck. <laughs> In the sun. I think the metal must be quite warm. Maybe he's got fleas. <laughs> oh, it's, I must admit it's nice having a visitor. I'd like to have a dog. Um, I like cats but I wouldn't want to own one. Um, but I would really like a dog on board. But not yet because my life's in a bit of a state of flux so I'd feel bad having a doggy in that environment but you know sometime in the future but for now we'll just enjoy the visiting fauna. <laughs> Happy weekend! So it's Saturday and I've done nothing to do with the boat all week because I've just been knackered and working. So today is DIY day. Um, so I've got a list of things I'm going to do 
well, that I'd like to do, but whether that's going to happen or not, I have no idea. Um, but I'm starting in the bedroom, so I'm going to do some more work on the bed. So there's some more holes that need filling. I'm still using the uh, my mosquito net to keep the spiders off me <laughs> at night, but I'd really like to stop using that. So I'm going to fill some more holes, do some painting, because I didn't realise when I painted, um, I didn't do under here. So this is still quite dark under there um, and it's got like gaps in and stuff so I'm just going to tidy up the bedroom, do some painting, do some laundry um, and then fill in some um, sort of make the corner over there sort of neater, um, the woodwork and stuff and then maybe do some work in the bathroom. I'd like to do some painting today not just under, under the gunnel um, but also the steps at the front of the boat are all dark and dingy so I'd like to brighten them up but we'll see we'll see what I get time for and um, but whatever I'll do whatever I do I'll record for you so first up is tidying so you'll see this is the mess from the gunnels so and it just it just drops like crap down so that's just from like it's not even it doesn't look even that bad but it just drops from these cracks and yeah it's just really messy so the big problem is I don't have a vacuum um because i gave it to my brother so um i'm currently looking for a vacuum but for now i've got a trusty dustpan and brush so we're going to do this old style okay so far i've siliconed the bathroom sink which is a job that i've been meaning to do for flipping forever it's been a bit of a mess from there but whatever um so that's done and then i'm making a lot of chaos in the bedroom so this is all my junk I've got under the bed. Um, so I finished, um, I don't have any cork. I should have just used white cork, but I didn't. So I've got a mix of silicon here. We've got the clear silicon, which you've seen already. And then I finished off, I did the white um, today. It looks like I've done two layers, but that at the top's like old paint. Um, nothing to do with me. So that's <laughs> silicon that in. Uh, and then I'm basically going to paint around, um, which is why I should have used cork, because then um, the, the um, paint would have gone over it, but it's silicon, so that's not going to work. But I'll just paint up as much as I can. Um, I didn't think it'd be a problem, but when you put the board back in, it still looks really dark and creepy. So, oh well, we'll see what I can do. But that's where I'm up to at the minute. And it is so hot in here. Like, the bedroom barely gets a breeze because of the way that I've still got the, um, like, covers on the windows. So you can't really open the windows that well. Oh, so it's it's getting hot. Painting under here is awkward as hell. I don't know. I'm kind of, like, crouching and painting. Really, really awkward positioning. Oops. Oh, what a mess. Fun times. I'm working on the steps now. So I've removed the steps. There they are. And clean them. They're a bit filthy. And now I'm painting. So it's going to look a lot better I think because it's just a really dark corner so this will help brighten up the kitchen somewhat so cleaned all that and now painting it white it's going to take quite a few layers to get rid of the red but I'm piling it on thick and I hope it might take a few less layers the bit in the middle is going to be a bugger to paint. I don't have a small paintbrush at the moment, so I've just got this one, which is angled. It's technically for ceilings and sort of architrave and stuff like that, but it's the only one I've got, so it'll do. Well, doesn't that look terrible? <laughs> hmm. I'm sure it'll look a lot better when I put the second coat on. I mean, it's got to be better than the red, right? Well, there's the second coat, and that looks much better. Now it's got the second on. Only problem is, I'm going to go get some fresh air now, because I've been breathing way too much paint, silicon and white spirit. But of course, there's no steps to get out, so this should be fun without getting paint all over me. Um, I've got a little step stool I've been sitting on, 
um, but it's still quite a step up. So, haha, <laughs> that should be fun. Well, that wasn't so bad. I imagine getting in will be less fun. It looks like a long way down from here, but we'll worry about that later. So I'm on the way to meet my dad for a coffee and not far from the marina is a sort of nice little wilderness that you can cut through and get into town that way. So that's the way I'm going to go today. And the sun came out so I put my hat on and it's gone in again so that worked out well didn't it? Okay. I love a boardwalk. It's a really nice place actually, this is um, Shropshire Wildlife Trust land and they do a little bit of maintenance here got to be careful there's holes in bits of the boardwalk um, so they do come with volunteers and do some maintenance here, not very often but it's quite nice to, to walk through here and then there's a cut through just coming up on the left hand side yeah Ta -da! And this cuts through onto another sort of nice little patch of wilderness that looks out. Look at all that. And uh, over there somewhere is the Tesco sign. And we're going to come out not far from Tesco's car park. <laughs> really just a bit nicer than walking along the road, albeit it's very quiet here. Um, or the other way into town is to walk along the canal and that's nice too but sometimes just fancy this uh, this is a lot quieter as well so there's less um, people in general I don't think I've ever met anyone along here um, lots of people do come here though, lots of dog walkers but it's just very peaceful stairs are back together and that looks a lot better unfortunately it's made the actual steps look a lot worse so they look a lot filthier than they did before so that's another job um this area is a work in progress but you know it does look a lot better through there um and it it does actually make it look so much brighter i didn't realize how much of a difference it would make so really pleased with that although i did notice when i put the cover back together that i've missed a bit uh, i didn't realize the cupboard didn't go that far <laughs> um, I kind of just painted over where it was red but never mind it's fine um, I can always do that at another time I'm not doing it now but yeah I'm really chuffed with that one day I will do the stairs just not today <laughs>